Centering with breath awareness. Lying down on the floor or sitting in a chair, find a position that is both comfortable and symmetrical. And begin to settle in. Take several conscious, slow, deep breaths. Begin to notice how you feel, noticing any sensations. Gently send your awareness down the body to the soles of the feet. Notice the feet, ankles, lower legs, knees, and upper legs. Take several breaths and observe the feet and legs. Bring your attention to the fingers and observe your fingers and hands, lower arms, upper arms, and shoulder joints. Take several slow, deep breaths and observe the hands and arms. Now as you take several conscious, slow, deep breaths, gently guide your awareness to the buttocks and abdomen. Observe and notice any sensations in this area, including the abdominal organs. Observe the stomach and organs of digestion and assimilation. And notice any gripping or tension there. As the breath flows, travel to the region of the chest. Check in with the chest and ribs. Notice the lungs and the heart. Following the breath, take your awareness up to the neck and throat. Explore any sensations or impressions in the neck and throat. As the breath continues to flow, return your attention to the pelvic floor and lower back. and travel to the middle back 
and upper back. As you observe the sensations with each breath in and out. Return to any lingering areas of tension and use the breath to let go, allowing the breath to pass in, around and through any areas of holding or resistance. Now bring your attention to the breath as it passes through the nostrils. Noticing as breath comes in and noticing as the breath goes out through the nostrils. allowing the attention to rest on the rhythmic flow of breath. Centering yourself with each breath. When the mind wanders, simply notice it and gently come back. Slowly and gradually begin to deepen the in-breath and lengthen the out-breath. Let the breath inspire some movement in the body. Moving the fingers and toes, ankles, and wrists. Begin to cup the hands and bring cupped hands over the eyes. Open the eyes in the cupped hands. And slowly remove the hands and return. Restoring range of motion. Now let's begin to move the body. Please use a chair for support and ease. The movement we do consists of a series of poses designed to systematically stretch and massage all parts of the body. 
and inhale. Exhale and allow gravity to slowly bring the head forward towards the chest as you find comfortable. Continuing to breathe naturally. Feel the gentle stretch on the back of the neck and in the shoulders. Inhale, bring the head back to center. Exhale and relax. Now inhale, and as you exhale, slowly bring the right ear toward the right shoulder without bringing the shoulder up to the ear. Breathe normally for two to three breath cycles. Inhale and raise the head to the center and exhale. Inhale and exhale as you bring the left ear towards the left shoulder. Hold for two to three breath cycles. Inhale and raise the head to the center. Exhale, relax. Shoulder shrugs. Now that the neck is more relaxed, turn your attention to the shoulders, another favorite place for holding in chronic tension. Some people feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. Now we'll learn to just shrug it off from a comfortable, seated position with the arms hanging loosely by the sides. Inhale as you draw both shoulders forward, feeling space expand between the shoulder blades. Exhale, returning to neutral, relax. And two more times with your breath, inhaling, drawing the shoulders forward, exhaling back to neutral. And once more. Inhale and slowly begin to raise the shoulders toward the ears. Exhale, releasing the shoulders down. And twice more, inhaling, raising the shoulders up. Exhaling, releasing them down. And once more. Inhale and bring the shoulders back behind you, feeling the chest gently expand. Exhale, back to neutral. Relax. And twice more. Inhale, bringing the shoulders back behind you, and then exhaling back to neutral. And once more. Shaking out the arms at the bottom of the out-breath. Next, you can begin to gently roll each shoulder, separately or both together. And then bringing both shoulders forward and slowly begin to raise them towards the ears. Continue raising the shoulders and let them rotate back behind you, bringing the shoulder blades together and allowing the shoulders to come back to where you started. Keep the breath regular and repeat two to three times. Rotating the shoulders up on the in-breath releasing them back behind you on the out breath. And once more on your own, breathing naturally. Then rotate the shoulders in the opposite direction for a couple of times. Shake the arms and relax. 
resting here for a few moments with the eyes closed and notice how you feel. Flex and relax wrist joints. These exercises articulate the joints, increase wrist flexibility and strengthen wrist musculature. The movements aid in circulation of hands and wrists, helping to relieve arthritic pain. Have the arms outstretched, yet relaxed. Slowly bending at the wrist, exhale and bring the fingers and hands toward the floor. Inhale as you bring the hands and fingers back up, tilting slightly toward the body. Continue a few times and feel the tension. Leave the wrist and arms. Notice if one wrist is more flexible than the other. Relax. Breathing normally, rotate the fingers and hands in a clockwise direction, gradually increasing the size of the circle. Relax. Rotate the fingers and hands in a counterclockwise direction. Notice which direction is easier. Shake the hands and arms, allowing them to relax. Massaging the hip joints now by rocking gently from the pelvis, forwards and backwards. Breathing in, gently arching the back. Breathing out, allowing the spine to round. Breathing in, feeling a nice expansion across the chest. Breathing out, expanding the space between your shoulder blades. Breathing in, the gaze is forward and slightly upward. Breathing out, slowly bow the head forward. for several more breath cycles, following your own smooth and easy pace. Gently rocking, always allowing the breath to guide and support the undulating motion. Breathing in, expanding in the heart center. Breathing out, feeling a nice extension along the back side of the neck. And now gently rotating your hips in small circular movements, sensing your sit bones as you shift the body's weight first in one direction and then the other, smooth and easy. Legs to chest. Bend the right leg and bring it up toward the chest. Wrap the hands or arms around the knee. Inhale as you give it a gentle hug. Exhale, relax the leg. Repeat on the left leg, wrapping the hands or arms around the knee, giving it a gentle hug. Exhale. Gently shake out the legs. Ankle rotations. Extend the legs out in front, either resting the heels on the ground or gently hovering your legs above the ground. Inhale, bring them toward the body. Exhale, point them away. Inhale, bring them toward the body. Exhale, gently shake out the legs. Relax. Rotate the feet at the ankles in a circle, keeping the legs still. Increasing the size of the circle as you feel comfortable. Rotate the feet in the opposite direction.
Shake out the legs. Relax. Relax. Spinal twist and tone. From a comfortable seated position that's symmetrical and evenly aligned down through your seat. Elongate your spine upward, creating space between your vertebra before twisting it. The chair will stabilize your base at the feet and seat, allowing you to safely rotate your upper spine. Breathing tall, floating one arm upward, then twisting to the side with the chest and gaze, supporting your elbow on the seat back behind you, with the opposite arm anchoring the opposite knee. Then on the next in-breath, recoil the twist, sweeping the arms and body back to the other side, feeling energized and alive here in this twist. Breathing in and breathing out as you twist back to the other side. Resting and relaxing. Breathing in and breathing out as you twist back to the other side. Resting and relaxing. Breathing in and breathing out as you twist back to the other side. Resting and relaxing. Relax. And always ending a twist with a forward bend. Extending the arms outward. Both hands behind the back and grasp the right wrist. Inhale deeply and as you exhale, extend the chin and bend forward from the hips. Leading with your heart, folding the upper body over the lower body into a relaxed forward bend. Allow yourself to hang here like a rag doll with bent knees while letting your neck and head relax towards the ground. Letting go of the tension in your neck, back and shoulders. Relaxing here for five breath cycles. On a full body breath in, gradually and gently roll one vertebrae at a time from the lower spine to the middle and lastly the upper spine, rolling back up to a comfortable upright seated position. The goal is to feel peaceful and relaxed. Finding balance. Standing twist. For those of you who have completed your on-site program, these balancing practices maintain and restore neuromuscular coordination and flexibility, as well as joint range of motion. Stand comfortably with the feet about shoulder width apart. Raise the arms to the side so that they're outstretched and parallel with the floor. Gently begin to swing the arms as you rotate the hips and torso from one side to the other. Remember to keep breathing evenly while you do this. Gently shake out the arms and legs. 
relax. Next, begin by having one hand on the wall. And when steady, let the wall be there if needed. Focus the eyes on a spot on the wall and begin to shift all the weight to the right leg, then the left leg backward, grasping hold of the ankle with the left hand. Lift the right arm directly overhead. Breath is normal. Slowly come out of the pose by bringing the arm down, releasing the leg, and balancing on both legs. Next, begin to shift all the weight to the left leg. Bend the right leg back, grasping hold of the ankle with the right hand. Lift the arm directly overhead, keeping the arm back and straight. Breath is normal. Balancing poses are done to help bring balance to the body and to focus the mind. Slowly come out of the pose by bringing the arm down, releasing the leg, and balancing on both legs. Lying down on back. Lie on the back with the eyes closed. Arms to the side with palms up and feet about 18 inches apart. Allow the arms and legs to relax so that you're not using any muscles to hold them in position. You may want to place pillows under the head and knees to allow the back to fully relax and be more comfortable. Rest your body, feeling fully supported by the ground beneath you. Allow your awareness to follow your breath, attending to the natural flow in and the natural flow out. Allow yourself to settle in here for a moment. Lying down on the back allows it to stretch and expand the chest and lungs, improving posture. Inhale as you bend the knee up and hug it in towards the chest. Then release the leg back down to neutral. And then continuing, lifting the opposite leg up and hugging it in towards the chest. And then floating it back down to the floor on the out breath. Enjoying a relaxed smile, either lifting the head or keeping it relaxed. Most importantly, never straining. Raising the knee, feeling a nice extension along the spine. Then releasing the leg back to neutral. Relaxing. and then continuing with the opposite leg. Holding each stretch at its easeful edge. Inhale and this time draw both legs towards the forehead. gaze is at the knees 
Exhale and relax back to neutral. Returning to this relaxed, lying down position with all limbs outstretched. Rock and roll. Inhale as you gently draw both knees into the chest, loosely hugging the legs however it feels most comfortable. Exhale and relax into this pose. With the breath flowing naturally and easily, Allow yourself to rock from right to left. And continuing like this, however it feels comfortable, massaging the shoulders, spine, kidneys, and adrenals. Relax and unwind the body as you release your knees, neutral, all limbs outstretched, relax. Roll over to lie on your belly, cobra back stretch. Place the palms on the floor beneath the shoulders, fingers pointing forward and the elbows raised and hugging close to the body. Place the forehead on the floor. Inhale as you stretch the chin forward, placing it on the floor. Exhale, gently pressing down through the palms as you lead with the heart. Inhaling and floating the head and chest forward and upward with the belly and legs remaining grounded on the floor. Breathing out and floating back down. Landing for a moment and then again taking flight with the next in-breath. Then releasing the breath and body back down. Breathing in as you float effortlessly upwards. And breathing out as you settle back down. Returning the arms along the sides of the body and resting a cheek. Single leg lifts. Lie on the abdomen and bring the forehead or chin to the floor. Place the arms beside the body with the elbows close together and palms up. Inhale, stretch out the right leg and slowly raise it off the floor a few inches. And as you exhale, slowly lower it back down to the floor. Relax. Repeat with the left leg. Inhale, stretch out the left leg, slowly raising it off the floor a few inches. And as you exhale, slowly lower it back to the floor. Relax. Inhaling, stretch out the right leg, slowly raise it off the floor a few inches. And then exhale, Slowly lower it back to the floor. Relax. Inhale, stretch out the left leg. Slowly raising it off the floor. And on the exhale, slowly lower it back to the floor. Relax. Inhale, stretch out the right leg and slowly raise it off the floor a few inches. And as you exhale, slowly lower it back down to the floor. Relax. 
Repeat with the left leg. Inhale, stretch out the left leg, slowly raising it off the floor a few inches. And as you exhale, slowly lower it back to the floor. Relax. Turn a cheek to the side, arms to the side. Relax. Restorative shoulder stand inversion. Find your way over to lying on your back. Elevated legs up a chair or wall. It's helpful to be on a level, well-padded surface. If you're working with a chair, lie on the back and rest the calves on the seat of the chair. The awareness is on the inversion of the body and the throat. So go ahead and adjust your clothing to loosen any restrictions on movement. If you're using a wall for support, lie on the floor with the knees bent and the buttocks as close to the wall as possible. The hands on the sides are pressing on the floor. Bring the soles of the feet to the wall and with the knees bent, begin to walk up the wall. Then straighten the knees and allow the weight of the body to lean against the wall. And if comfortable, go ahead and rest here for a minute. Breathing is natural and easy. Be aware of any dizziness, lightheadedness, or discomfort. If any pose ever hurts, return to a resting position or modify it to fit your body's needs. Resting here, following the breath's natural tides. Feeling how this shoulder stand relaxes the heart by allowing the blood to flow with gravity back to the heart. The movement gives the veins in the legs a rest and blood flows more easily to the undersides of the lungs and digestive organs. The pose massages shoulder muscles and strengthens lower back muscles. It helps to even drain the lymphatic system, part of our immune system. Slowly come back down to the floor with the knees bent and find a relaxed position. Fish pose, chest expansion. From a comfortable lying on your back position, place a pillow along the spine, yet beneath the shoulders so that the edge of the pillow is even with the shoulders. Gently lifting the chin as the neck arches backward, allow the head to come over the edge of the pillow with the chest well expanded. Place the hands on the side of the thighs, elbows on the floor, and legs together. Take in full body breaths to expand and relax the chest. Hold this pose for up to 30 seconds as you take in full body breaths to expand and relax the chest. This chest expansion massages thyroid and parathyroid glands and massages neck and shoulder muscles, stretching them in the opposite direction from the shoulder stand. It expands the chest, allowing air to more easily reach the apex of the lungs. It improves posture problems, expands the throat and strengthens upper, middle, and lower back muscles. To come out of the pose, lift and gently slide the head back to a neutral position onto the pillow. And relax.
Progressive relaxation. This practice relaxes the body and promotes healing. You may choose to lie on your back or sit in a chair to keep your eyes open or closed for the duration of this practice. Position the body so you will feel comfortably at ease. You may want to place pillows under the knees and head for more comfort. Begin by inhaling as you gently squeeze the muscles of your right leg. Exhale as you relax. Inhaling as you gently squeeze the muscles of your left leg. Exhale as you relax. Roll out the legs. Inhale and gently squeeze the right arm. Exhale as you relax. Inhale and gently squeeze the left arm. Exhale as you relax. Roll out the arms. Now inhale and squeese the muscles of the buttocks. Exhale as you relax. Inhale as you expand the abdomen. Then let the abdomen completely relax as you exhale through the mouth. Leaving the arms relaxed at the sides. Inhale and bring the shoulders up toward the ears. Exhale as you relax. Inhale, then bring the shoulders together in front of the chest. Exhale and relax. Inhale and push the shoulders toward the feet. Exhale as you relax. Slowly roll the head from side to side and allow the neck to relax. Inhale and gently squeeze together all the facial muscles, including the jaw, mouth, eyes and forehead. Squint and blink your eyes so as to soften the small muscles around your eyes. Using the mind, go through the body mentally, allowing each part of the body to relax even more, allowing the attention to become aware of the feet, legs, hips, as they relax. Allow the awareness to feel the hands, arms, and shoulders relax. Guide your awareness to the buttocks abdomen, chest, heart, and throat, feeling the full body relax, feel all the muscles in the back, along the spine and neck, relax, allow all the muscles of the face and head to relax. And now simply returning your awareness to breathing. Without trying to change the pattern of breathing, simply observe the gentle flow of air as it comes in and out of the body. Feeling the mind quieting. This time relaxing between the poses is as important as the movements themselves. Imagine that you are breathing in light and healing energy that is revitalized. 
revitalizing and recharging your body and mind. Allow this energy to come through the head, down the center of the body, down along the arms to the hands, and the legs to the feet. Slowly move the fingers and toes, hands and feet. Then gently roll the arms and legs back and forth. When you are ready, slowly roll over onto the side. Bend the knees and support yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Alternate nostril breathing for restoring equilibrium. To begin, sit in a comfortable position, eyes closed, and exhale fully. Make a gentle fist with the right hand, and then open only the thumb and the last two fingers. The side of the thumb is used to close off the right nostril, and the side of the ring finger is used to close off the left nostril. Use whatever is most comfortable for you. Breathe in naturally, and then close off the right nostril with the thumb, and exhale slowly through the left nostril. And inhale through the left nostril. Close off the left nostril with the index finger and exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Close off the right nostril and exhale through the left nostril. Repeat this for three to five rounds, changing nostrils after each inhalation. If at any time you feel like you're not getting enough air, simply resume breathing naturally and easily. Our two nostrils function separately via two different nerve currents, which correlate with the right and left hemispheres of our brains. When there's equilibrium between these two entities, we feel calmer more balanced. As you come around to the right nostril, end with an exhalation. Allow the hand to come to the lap and stay still, the eyes remaining closed. Allow yourself to feel peace. Resuming your natural, easy breathing as you notice a sense of inner spaciousness, symmetry, and balance. Guided imagery From a comfortable, seated, or lying down position, gently close your eyes, resting your awareness on your breathing, naturally flowing in and flowing out. Once the muscles and the mind are relaxed, create an image in the mind's eye of what you want the body to do. For example, you might want to encourage your blood vessels to become less clogged with plaque. Focus the mind on the body and the particular 
particular part of the body that needs your healing attention. Direct all thoughts to this area and allow yourself to experience what it feels like right now. After a moment, allow a picture or image related to that area to enter the mind. It may be a detailed representation, or it could be more symbolic. It may be a detailed representation, or it could be more symbolic of how that area feels to you. It is important that the healing image feels right and has a personal significance to you. Keep the attention there until you are satisfied with the picture you've created. Now begin to imagine the process taking place to make that area better. Spend a few minutes holding that image in the mind. The image may change, and it's important to let that happen. Enjoy watching the transformation occur. Sometimes important information about the body can be communicated in this way. Allow yourself to reflect on the healing image for a few minutes, twice a day. While your conscious imagery work will take only a few minutes each day, your unconscious and your body will spend nearly all the time on the healing process 